We are so excited to welcome you back to Mass at St. Catherine Drexel. In order to do so safely, you'll notice that there are additional guidelines and procedures in place that might be different than what you're used to. These can be found on our website and we'll also go over them here in this video. Please note that the situation continues to change so please monitor the website and your email for updates. And we thank you for your cooperation and patience. In order to allow adequate time to sanitize between masses, weekend masses will occur at 4.30 p.m. on Saturday, 10 a.m. on Sunday, and the Sunday liturgy will also happen on Wednesday at 10 a.m. That Wednesday mass is for those who are elderly and in the highest at risk categories. Those in those categories may attend any mass, but that mass is designed specifically for them. The 10 a.m. Sunday Mass will also continue to be live streamed. So if you and your family are not comfortable returning at this time, we welcome you joining us virtually. The dispensation continues. There's a few things that you should do before you come here to Mass. Uh, you should use the restroom at home. There will only be one restroom available and we need to sanitize between every person. You should also wash your hands. We also recommend that you bring your own personal hand sanitizer. Masks are also required for every member of the family, and they should be worn as soon as you exit your vehicle. The doors of the church will open 30 minutes prior to the start of Mass. Again, you should put on your mask as soon as you exit your vehicle. If you do not have a mask, masks are available. They are provided by Operation Mask Central PA, and we thank them for their generous donation. Uh, go ahead, grab a mask if you don't have one as soon as you enter. This is in the center area of the narthex. As you enter, please use the hand sanitizer from the no-touch hand sanitizing station and then ushers and greeting staff will direct you where to sit. You will be seated in the doors closest to the section you enter. So if you want in the Mary side, you should enter from the side door. If you want to sit in the center sections, you should enter from the center doors. And if you want to sit on the St. Joseph side, you should enter the door between the office and the church. The church will be seated to fill the open pews from front to back. Only the pews that are not roped off will be used. You'll see that's every third pew. There's also handicap seating available, and the ushers can direct you there. You may be sharing a pew with another household, but social distance is required between the households of six feet. That area is clearly marked off in the pew. Masses will be conducted as you have seen on live stream with reduced minister. There will be no altar servers, choir, or lay sacristans at this time. Please keep your face mask covering your entire face for the entirety of Mass. Please make every effort to remain in your pew. If you are having difficulty breathing, please exit the church for some fresh air and then return directly to your pew when you are comfortable doing so. If you have children that come, become disruptive during Mass, please exit the church, take them to your vehicle until they are calm, and then again when you are ready, return directly to your pew. The only restroom available during Mass is in the vesting sacristy. The ushers can help direct you. Please sanitize after using the restroom using the Clorox wipes provided. There is to be no physical contact between households. Baskets will not be passed during the offertory, and there is no passing of the peace. You will be able to place your weekly gift in the basket as you exit the church. We also strongly encourage online giving. Communion will happen after Mass is concluded. The precious blood will not be offered during this time. Use of your own personal hand sanitizer before receiving communion is highly recommended. Father Ken will be stationed here near the center. 
Those requiring a low gluten host will proceed to Father Ken's station first. Next, anyone wishing to receive communion on the tongue will proceed here to Father Ken's stations. The other stations are also located in the back of the church near the other doors. Please follow the directions of the ushers. Pews will be dismissed, starting in the back and then moving forward. Two, one. Masks should be worn in the communion line. Please maintain six feet social distance from the person in front of you. When it is your turn to receive communion, please step up, receive communion, remove your mask, consume the Eucharist, and then return your mask before directly exiting the church. Please note that if you are receiving on the tongue, that you should use the kneeler to receive communion. As you are coming up to receive communion, please note the offertory baskets where you can drop your weekly offering. After you receive the Eucharist, again, head directly outside. Private prayer is not available after Masses during this time, but we do encourage you to spend a moment in prayer, making your thanksgiving in your vehicle. For those not receiving communion, please wait in line with those you came with, and when it's your turn, just proceed around the communion station. We want to thank our cleaning crews who have so generously volunteered their time to clean and sanitize after every mass. All the pews will be disinfected and so will bathrooms, door handles, and other frequently touched surfaces. Know that our staff are required to wear face masks, wash hands, and are being screened for symptoms. We ask you to continue to monitor yourselves as well. And should you be diagnosed, to please contact the parish office. We'll keep your name confidential. You are reminded that the CDC recommendations regarding your own health are in place. If you fall in the highest at risk categories, we invite you to stay home and join us by live stream. Please check the website, the bulletin, and your email frequently as the situation continues to change. Stay safe, and when you're comfortable, we are excited for you to return. Until then, stay close to our Lord in prayer. May God bless you, and we'll see you soon.